Hi, Lance Yulinoff, Chief Correspondent with Mashable. This is Universal Robots UR5, robotic arm, third generation. Enrico Iverson is with Universal Robots and is made of aluminum, cast aluminum, weighs about 40 pounds, totally programmable, in use all around the world. There's about 4,000 of these devices out there in factories. All factories, all kinds of different applications, moving things around, uh, packaging, palletizing, gluing, painting. So two of the things that, that's really important about this robot is uh, its programmability. You're mm -hmm. gonna teach me how to program in two minutes. Yep. And its safety. Please don't hurt me. Well, first of all, he, he still wanted to go a little bit, but when I grabbed him, yeah. He'll push you a little bit just to make sure that you actually yeah. mean it. <laughs> so if I go, let's go, I'm gonna go on this side because I feel like this is, Let yeah, me see. That's, that's pretty impressive. I mean, this thing, by the way, I can feel it. I mean, it's got a lot of, there are six motors, and six degrees of freedom. Now I know this is thirty-five thousand dollars, but what it does is impressive. And you guys have cut down the cost in what way? Where are the sensors? Well, there are no sensors. I think that's one of the reasons we can cut down costs. That we have found a different technology where our software can work with our hardware without using sensors. So the all the information, all the feedback from the motors, if there's resistance, that goes back to the software and that tells it what to do. Traditionally in robotics, you might have sensors to know that my hand is here, but the motors tell it that, it feels that, so it doesn't hurt. I have not been injured in this <laughs> demo. In any case, I'm gonna learn how to program it. What we need to do is to build the structure of the program here. It's just a couple of moves in and out of the machine. So now, to a move to, so move from here to here. All yes. right, so how do I do so that? get into the machine, get the part, move out again. Okay. You're giving high fives. So we'll take a move. A move is a number of points. So now we have defined three points. There are three, three places I want this yeah. robot to be. So get one of them. We we'll go to the command screen. Save this or set this waypoint. I can work with the uh, individual axis. All of them, they uh, turn plus minus 360 degrees. You can use the arrows, but you can also control it. You yeah. can basically the set easy, it the by... The easy way is here with... Uh, when I release button on this, the back. That basically gets the robot into a gravity-free position. Now you can just place the robot where you want it. Okay, so I'm going to go low. What we're going to do is we're going to both come up and we're going to do a high five. Yeah. That's what I want. Okay. All right, so we've done that movement. So, okay. <clears throat> So we just say OK to that. Then we take the next one. Then we just move the All robot right, so where we want it. So we're going to go a little bit, and I'm going to bring it up here, but I'm going to have this back because I want it to tap at the end. OK? okay. We're done with that. Take the last one. Set that right, where I want and that. And that is that. And we should be good, good to go. OK. Then we're good to go. Then what we have to do in order to play the program, is we just have to let the robot get back into the starting position. Okay, so I should get into my position. I'm not a robot, but no, I, we'll, we'll, I have we'll to. We'll program you, that's probably yeah. more difficult. Yeah, <laughs> so tell me when we're ready to go. We're ready to go whenever you are. Let's go, let's do a high five with the robot. <laughs> oh yeah. <laughs> that See, is, that's easy, isn't it? That's, oh, now he still wants to high five. I'm sorry, I feel, <laughs> now I feel bad. No, no, here, it's okay, it's okay. He's, he's really into it, isn't he?